Right, John, that's three wins out of three. Um, what do you make of today's game? I thought it was an impressive performance uh, from start to finish. I think the op goal opportunities that we uh, created on another day, we I think if we had come in 5-1 at the end, 6-1, I think no one could really argue with that. The keeper's made a few good saves, maybe a bit clinical, more clinical finishing uh, or being in the right place when the, the crosses came in the box. We, we could easily have won five or six. Yep. So on, on that side of it, Please, but a bit frustrated that we didn't make it easier for ourselves uh, because at 2 1, anything can happen. Yeah, Bagasan Graham scored the winner and he was he was lively throughout the game, wasn't he? Dangerous for them. Yeah, he touches, uh, hugs the touchline. Um, he's always a, a threat to the full back, and today he delivered the quality from wide areas with crosses and he managed to get the winning goal. So I'm really pleased for Bags because he's, uh, he's put some hard work in in training uh, and it's showing in the games. Yeah, how important do you think it is to have a winning reserve team and a decent reserve team because when John Moore was winning games regularly with the first team he always had a strong backup didn't he and is it a sign of the strength of the squad? Definitely and that's something we say before every game that um, if you perform well in the reserves uh, you've got a better chance of playing or being involved with the first team and that's the guys at the moment aren't in the first team in the first team 11 uh, but it's the incentive to keep performing to, to possibly get that uh, and we have got competition for places throughout the club now and uh, it, it's pleasing that we've won three out of three but the performances have matched the results as well. Yeah, three trialists today, um, what, what did you make of the performances? I thought they did very well, I thought uh, Callum at left back looked more assured this week than last week uh, and the two front men won each half, I think they caused problems for their Bournemouth defence uh, and I was pleased, it's just a shame they didn't get a goal. Do you know much about John Aina? No, I only found out uh, late yesterday afternoon that he'll be playing. Uh, we had a bit of a, a bit of a time getting him uh, international clearance. Uh, he would have been starting today, but uh, we had a bit of delay, so we, we managed to do it so he could get on at half time. So, uh, yeah. but when he went on there, he, he proved it he was a handful. Yeah, Luke Bembo has played three games now. He went off with a bit of an knock, didn't he? Yeah, he'd, on the, one of the crosses, he, he threw himself in and uh, he got a, a bad one to the ankle. So he possibly could have stayed on, but precaution we took him off because we had the replacement with John. So yeah. um, pleased for both of those guys and the fullback. So he's quite pleased with, with what Luke's done in his three appearances. Really yeah, I think so. I think the Forest Green, the Crawley, and today he's he's, he's been a handful for the centre backs. Uh, it never gives them a moment. It's just a shame he hasn't got a goal yet.